Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for limits and continuity. Kindly refers to the question, given the function fx is equal to x multiplied with the modulus x minus 1 over we have x minus 1 x plus 2. Kindly define the situation in here. So here we have the modulus of x minus 1 which is equal to we have the situation x minus 1 then we have bracket negative x minus 1. So we have x minus 1 greater equals to 0, x minus 1 less than 0. If we simplify the situation, and we will have the modulus of x minus 1, which is equals to x minus 1. Then we have x greater equals to 1. Negative bracket x minus 1. And we have the domain x less than 1. So here we have the definition for absolute value x minus 1. Kali refers to the question A. Show that f is equivalent to the gx. So... What we have to do is to refer to the modulus. First, we have the gx is equal to, here we have x multiplied with x minus 1 over, we have x minus 1 multiplied with x plus 2. Given the situation, we have x greater than 1 because of this case. So kindly simplify the situation for the second part. So for the second part, we have x multiply with, we have the negative bracket, x minus 1 over, we have x minus 1 multiply with x plus 2. We have the domain x less than 1. So, can you simplify the situation? So, we have gx is equal to, can you refer to this part? We have the common terms, so we can simplify. So, finally, we have x over x plus with the 2, with the domain x greater equals to 1. For the second part, we have the common terms in here, so we can simplify and finally, we have negative x over x plus with the 2, domain x less than 1. So, it refers to the situation, and we can state it, we already show the situation for gx. So, kindly refers to the question B. Determine the asymptote and the points of this continuity of g. So, illustrate the situation in a real number line. So, we have the value. Here, we have 1. So, for the left-hand side, we have the situation negative x over x plus with the 2. For the right-hand side, we have x over x plus with the 2. So that is the situation. Kali refers to the g. So we notice that we have the domain of g. Negative infinity until negative 2. Union, negative 2 until infinity. So now we are going to explore the behavior for negative 2. So limit when x approaching negative 2 from the left. Limit when x approaching negative 2 from the right. So, kindly refers to the real number line. The location for negative 2 is over here. So, meaning that the function would be negative x over x plus with the 2. Same goes to the x approaching negative 2 from the right. So, we have negative x over x plus with the 2. So, kindly substitute the value that is approaching negative 2 from the left. For example, we have the situation negative 2.0001. If we substitute in this part, and we will have the positive value. If we substitute in this part, and we will have the negative value. So for this case, limit when x approaching negative 2 from the left. For the function, negative x over x plus with the 2, and we will have negative infinity. Meaning that when x approaching negative 2 from the left, the value of y which is decreasing. Refers to the right hand side. When x approaching negative 2 from the right, for example, we have negative 1.999. If we substitute in here, and we will have the positive value. Same goes to this part. We will have a positive value as well. So limit when x approaching negative 2 from the right for the function negative x over x plus 2 to 2. And we will have the positive infinity. So from here, the vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Next, we're going to find the horizontal asymptote. Limit when x approaching negative infinity. Another one, limit when x approaching positive infinity for the function. So, kindly refers to the situation. The question said negative infinity, meaning that we're going to substitute negative x over x plus 2 to 2. For the situation positive infinity, meaning that we are going to refer to the function x over x plus 2. So if we substitute the value, and we will have the indeterminate form. 
So what we have to do is to divide the highest power of the denominator. So what we have to do is to refer to the denominator. We have the highest power, which is the x. So what we have to do is to factor out the x. So limit when x approaching negative infinity. So what we have to do is to factorize the x. So in here we have negative 1 over, if we factorize the x, and we will have 1 plus with 2 over x. Next is to simplify the situation. Limit when x approaching negative infinity. So we will have negative 1 over 1 plus with the 2 over x. If we substitute the infinity, and in this part, we will approaching, we will obtain 0 if we substitute infinity. So finally, the value of y is approaching negative 1 when x approaching negative infinity. Refers to the right hand side. Same goes to this part. If we substitute the infinity and we will have indeterminate form. So what we have to do is to divide the highest power of the denominator. So in this part, my suggestion would be factorize the x. So here we have 1. So here we also factorize the x and we will have 1 plus with the 2 over x. If we simplify, limit when x approaching positive infinity. So we will have 1 over 1 plus with 2 over x. If we substitute infinity into this part, and we will obtain 0. So finally, the value of y will be approaching 1 when x approaching positive infinity. So the horizontal asymptote r y is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 1. So that is the horizontal asymptote. So in here, we have three asymptotes. Number 1 is vertical asymptote, x is equal to negative 2. Number two is the horizontal asymptote, where we have y equals to negative 1 and y equals to 1. So now we are going to discuss the discontinuity of g. If it refers to this question, number 1, the domain for the g is equal to negative infinity until negative 2, union negative 2 until infinity, meaning that we cannot substitute the negative 2. So in here, g negative 2, which is equal to undefined. For the continuity, the first condition is undefined for g negative 2. So very obvious, we can say that the function gx is discontinuous at x is equal to negative 2. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.